Come on, Isabel. Let's play trucks. Not today, Alexander. I'm helping her with her stamp collection. Dream on, Pom. She's playing trucks with me. Isabel's coming with me. Stamps? No, with me. <laughs> Whoa! She's my sister. Isabel's gonna skip rope with me. Skip! 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 Oh, yeah! With me! me. No, no, my way. sharper! No, my sharper! <laughs> How things change. I remember when we first brought baby Isabel home. Oh, yes, and our three darling children wanted to know if the hospital had a return policy. <laughs> Cornelius, get the car! My tusks, Baba, what is it? Are the rhinos attacking? Is the palace on fire? No, Pompadour. <laughs> it's time! <gasps> oh, oh, hurry! What's going on, Mother? I'm going to the hospital, Flora. The hospital? There's nothing to worry about, Palm. Then will you bring us back a treat? I most certainly will, Alexander. How about a nice new baby? The baby? What kind? <laughs> <laughs> Celeste, hurry! Perhaps I'd better drive, dear. <clears throat> I'll be back as soon as I can, children. Then you'll read me my story, Father? I promise, Flora. Come on, Celeste. <laughs> When Mom brings home our new brother, we'll finally have someone to chase our baseballs and carry our skates and tennis rackets for us. Mm, this is gonna be great, right, Pom? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I think our new baby sister would rather skip rope. I've already set up his chemistry set and started his stamp collection. She'll be a girl and she'll like skipping. Stamps! Skipping! Trucks! Stamps! Help! It's coming from my old room. Cornelius! Oh, my tusks! I'd like to know who wrote these instructions. I hate to interrupt your little game of zoo, but His Majesty, Her Majesty, and the Baby Majesty have just arrived. Mom's home! Yay! Mom! <laughs> Children, this is Isabel, your new baby sister. A sister! Yay! A girl? But we already have a girl. She's the sweetest thing I have ever seen. Isn't she, though? She has your trunk, Babar. And your eyes, Celeste. Everyone say, Brie! Come on, Isabel. Let's play trucks. <laughs> no, Isabel wants to skip. No, let's play stamps. Nap time. Huh? And Daddy will read his new little girl a nice bedtime story. <laughs> but you promised to read me my story. Wait till you see the wonderful room we have all ready for little Isabel. It used to be my room. Come on, Isabel. You don't want a nap. Let's play trucks. <laughs> Demolition Derby. What do you say? <laughs> Let go, will ya? Oh, Isabel. <laughs> Whoa! Good gracious. Don't worry, I'm okay. I was... Oh, poor baby. Is my little sweetheart okay? Well, maybe it's like a concussion or two. 
You scared the daylights out of her, Alexander. But I was only trying to play with her. She almost ripped my trunk off. <laughs> my poor little thing. <laughs> Peanut butter, chocolate, mango, candy. Perfect. This is what I call real baby formula. Here you go, Isabel. Tomorrow I'll teach you how to make your own. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Sorry, I was only there, trying to feed her and... Isabel. Oh, did Pom scare you? <laughs> she can order out for a formula from now on. <laughs> Take my advice, Flora. Don't go in there. You'll only get into trouble. Nonsense. I'm just going to change her diaper. I think she's wet. Wet? Yuck! <laughs> Quiet. Shh. It's okay. I just want to... Flora! <laughs> okay, Isabel. You're okay. <sighs> First your brothers, and now you. But I was just... Just leave the baby alone. <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. Daddy's here. I'm sorry, Flora. We do appreciate you wanting to help. But with brand new babies, you have to be so careful. You understand, Flora? <laughs> Flora? I forgot just how much work little babies are. Hi, Dad! Whoa. <laughs> Feel like tossing the old baseball around, Father? Well, I... You promised, Dad, three times, remember? I know, but... You could read me my story instead. But I... I don't have time to play baseball because Isabel's the one that needs the story because she's the one I have to get back to sleep because you three woke her up again. There, there, Princess. Daddy's coming. <sighs> Boy, new babies are no fun. I can't take it anymore. This palace isn't big enough for the four of us. Alexander's right. There's only one thing to do. We have to find the baby a new home. Yeah, we'll sell her to someone. I don't think we can do that. Okay, then let's give her away. That's more like it. Let's go. <laughs> Baba? Don't worry, dear, I'll get her. Coming, Isabel. She's the only one they care about. With brand new babies, there's lots to do. Feeding, burping, nap time, too. But when it comes to a wet behind, you just can't top the bottom line. Bottom line diaper delivery at your service. Okay, kid. So where's mom and dad's pride and joy? Right. Sorry. No babies here. You mean I said that silly rhyme for nothing? Oh, it must have been the other palace. Well, thanks, kid. What are you doing? Practicing my piano. What, do you have to practice so loudly? I thought you liked me to practice. I do, but I mean, not now. Read me a story? Maybe later, dear. Right now, I would just like to sit and... I, I said, not now! <laughs> Wake the baby. 
whatever could have happened to the diapers? They should have been delivered hours ago. I sent them away. You did what? Flora, we need those diapers for Isabel right now. <laughs> I'll have to call them back. And I'll get Isabel. I'll talk to you later, young lady. Coming, sweetheart. One baby. Free. They'll never find me in the attic. Dogs, cats, canaries, but no babies. Hmm. You mean nobody wants somebody Mom. else's trouble. Alexander! <gasps> Hide the paper! Dad's coming! So what are you two up to now? Nothing, Father! Do either of you know where Flora might be? She's worried about me already. Maybe in a room. Maybe she's got a tummy ache or something. Tummy ache? It's a possibility. Yeah, maybe you should go look. <laughs> Daddy's coming, Isabel. Don't cry, sweetheart. Isabel, Isabel, Isabel. That's all they care about, not me. <laughs> Aren't thunderstorms fun, Alexander? Yeah, and the only thing more fun than thunderstorms is, is watching, watching them scare Flora silly. Let's go. <laughs> Flora's run away from home. Just like a sister to take the easy way out and leave us here with the diaper monster. We have to tell father and mother. You bet. Flora's really gonna get it now. There, there, Isabel. Just like Flora, <laughs> terrified of storms. If there was ever a storm to be frightened of, this is certainly the one. I think I'll check on Flora and make sure she's all right. Father, mother, Flora's run away from home. What? Oh, Flora! My tusks in that storm! <laughs> Who else would Isabel could even wreck a good thunderstorm? I've got to find her! Hurry, Babar! I'll call out guards! Find her! <laughs> Flora! Flora! You don't worry, Celeste. I'm certain Babar will find her. I've been thinking, Alexander. What else is new? Flora just wouldn't run off like this. 
I know her. I'll bet she's hiding somewhere inside the palace. The basement! No, that's where we'd hide. Under the sink! No, I know. The attic! Let's go! There's only one way you're gonna get me up in that spooky attic. Whoa! Up in that dark attic, do you? Stay here if you want. Mom? Mom! Give me a hand with the door. It's stuck. There's probably a big fat monster sitting on it. So, Flora, are you all right? Yeah, thanks to you two. Good, because Dad's going to kill you when he finds that you tricked him. I don't care. Come on, Flora. We all want to get away from the baby. But hiding in the attic is going a little too far. And, well, we are worried about you. More worried than <laughs> mother or father. They don't love me anymore. Oh, yeah? Then why is Dad out in that storm looking for you? <gasps> coochie, coochie, coo! <laughs> <laughs> Mother, I'm sorry. Flora! Oh, Flora, you're safe! But where is your father? He's still out looking for Flora. She was hiding in the attic the whole time. I don't understand. Flora! Well, thank goodness you're safe. Oh, and you, Your Majesty. Since everybody's safe, can we go out and clean the storm now? If you wouldn't mind, Cornelius, perhaps you could take the boys downstairs for some hot chocolate? Aw, oh, Mom. <clears throat> now you come along, gentlemen. <sighs> and Flora, perhaps you'd give your father and I a few minutes of your time before you go back home. Home? Yes, dear. It seems Flora's taken up residence in the attic. The attic? What's wrong with your old room? Isabel has my old room. I guess I meant your new room. Oh, you mean the room that's not next to yours? I see. You know, when we thought you were out in that terrible storm, we were worried sick. Try to understand that just because we love Isabel doesn't mean we stopped loving you. Just the opposite, dear. When we look at her, she reminds us so much of you when you were little. She does? Oh, yes. And although she depends on your mother and I right now, it won't be long before her big sister becomes the most important person in her life. Yes, sisters are special together. And believe it or not, Flora, we miss our special time with you and your brothers as much as you do. Especially our story time. Seems like a perfect opportunity. How about it, Flora? Oh, yes! <laughs> can baby Isabel hear my story, too? <laughs> <laughs> of course she can. Did I hear story? Yeah! Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> if you're getting a cold, Babar, you'll have to stay away from the baby. That's the best news we've heard in a long time. Don't worry, Father. I'll take care of baby Isabel until you're better. That's what big sisters are for. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about something that happened to me when I was a boy. It was the day of the annual town hall. For the last time, you two, Isabel's playing with me. She doesn't want to skip rope, Flora. She wants to stick stamps. Well, you can stick your stamps, Mom. She wants to play trucks. <laughs> yes, sir, things have certainly changed. I wonder if for the better. Would you like me to read you a story, Isabel? No, I want to watch Pom, Flora, and Alexander. 